What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. We are finishing off another box of Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge. But first, we have a ultimate mail day. <laughs> Emphasis on the ultimate. That's right, we are expanding our UTR, our ultimate rare collection. And we just got a package from Troll and Toad, and we picked up a bunch of cards. So, these are all ultimate rare uh, so I'm become, starting to become a bigger fan of this max rarity kind of idea where collecting the uh, various cards. So this is the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear. Essentially, you know, these are all cards that um, this is their max rarity. So it's the ultimate rare. It's something that they kind of did away with, but they are coming back with the, I think it's called like the Prismatic Rare in the, the set that just released um, Rampaging, Raging Rampage or something like that. So I'm really excited to get some of boxes of that and open those up, look for those. I think they said like one in uh, like one and a half per case. So it's super rare. And uh, so like all these cards are ultimate rare. A lot of them actually were super cheap, uh, but a couple of them were uh, a little bit on the more on the pricey side. Uh, but I do like just kind of having them in my collection. I feel like there is a small chance for some of like the medium price ones that will actually become relevant. And then like the, the price will kind of like skyrocket. Dark Horse is pretty cool. Anything that's kind of like from the show uh, just has a, you know, uh, kind of like retains its value much better. But a lot of these cards that uh, are no, either are no longer meta relevant or never were. You know those ones you could pick up for quite cheap so and i do since i'm kind of still starting my collection i was happy to pick up anything essentially so i'm not sure if you could tell so the the foiling is different for the ultimates and it can be hard to tell after i sleeve them but um because i did feel like it was a good idea to those things on but maybe we'll just look at this one just to kind of show you so let's see how this shows up on the yeah so you can kind of see how like it's not, it's kind of texturized, but it's not texturized, but uh, it's definitely a very cool pattern. It's like different patterns, so it kind of shows up differently from various angles versus like normal art, which is very flat. So, I don't know, I just find these really cool. This one, it's very faded, but it's definitely real just because the uh, foil pattern is very correct. So then we have a metal reflex slime. This one actually, um, I believe this was in the show. Drastic drop off bunch of copies of these and a bunch of these are actually first edition rank up five of those to wrap up and then there was one the most expensive one is the first edition of the fire fist bear so this one i left in a top loader that it came in uh, but yeah there's a huge stack of cards to add to our ultimate rare collection and i'm hoping to add some prismatic ones in the near future from the rising ramp rising rampage i believe that's it <laughs> So yeah, Battles of Legend just came out not too long ago, and sometimes these sets, they're like not at a normal rotation where sometimes these uh, reprint sets or like these five card sets comes like right before another one of the nine card sets. So this is one of those times, and so tons of stuff to open. And uh, so Battles of Legend just came out, but it's already time to look at something else. So we're going to wrap up this box. Let's see, so we did have a monster start, so we want at least one more good hit from this half of the box. We got a Fortune Fairy Who, Summon Limit, another Fortune Fairy with Sui, and then, ooh, Trap Trick Sarah. Okay, not bad. Eh, I think I'll sleep that up later. It's a pretty good hit right there. So I hope everyone's having a good day, and if you do enjoy this content, do me a favor and hit that like button down below. If you're not already sub, definitely hit that sub button as well. We got some Water of Life if you're thirsty, Battle Wasp, the Halberd, Vision Release, and then Vision Hero Increase for, for that Vision Release. This card's pretty cool. Although the Vision Heroes, I think the... Archetype might be pretty good, but the cards, I feel like they all look a little similar. They're just like these r robots. They're nothing nothing too crazy, no, no crazy mechs or anything. Revival Swarm. The Hornets, they look kind of weird, but at least it's very unique. Number 60, Dugaris the Timeless. I believe this card's actually pretty good. Battle Wasp, here's the Poison Battle Wasp. Actually, I just noticed that you can see, like, obviously it has a stinger, and then it's, like, the, it's filled with poison in there. And then Vision Fusion, more Vision Support. All 
All right, let's see. Vision Hero Trinity. White Drake Drag Dragon Wyvern Buster. I like that card. Fortune Fairy N. Guardian of Order. Not bad. And then Stri uh, Sky Striker Ace Ray. The if you play Sky Strikers, you play like one creature, and it's Ray. <laughs> so secret rare version of that in the bag. Very nice. Well, although I would prefer the engage. All right, unacceptable results. If you are a fan of Sky Striker Engage, check out our previous video. <laughs> kind of talk about one of the specs I made for this set. And then we have an All Eyes Phantom Dragon. Some pendulum cards. I'm not like super familiar with the meta, but I do watch like uh, various battles. Sometimes I watch tournaments. I feel like I've su I'm not sure if I ever seen a uh, pendulum match. We have a Solemn Great Sanctuary, Shadal, Falco, and Cyberstein. Such a classic card. Pay 5,000 life. Plop down a fusion monster. That Kaiba in that game. Cyberstein. I think it was Dark Hole, Cyberstein, Ultimate Dragon, Meta. Meta. Megamorph or something like that. And then boom, you're dead. <laughs> Magical Musketeer Max. Foolish Burial. Elemental Hero Stratos, Vision Hero Poisoner. So look at this Vision Hero looks like all the other ones. Just like this one's slightly purple and has a Mega Man arm. And then Vision Hero Ferris. All right, so I guess that one does look slightly different, but not by much. All right, we're winding down. Still looking for a single big hit would be good. Oh, there's the secret Dark Sacrifice. That's not the one we wanted. Lucky Loan. Multiply guy, yes, this one's even more basic. Summoning Swarm, looks like the poison ones. And the Arbalist. Okay, this is the Piano Swinging Sword Swinging Harmonizer. We got Herald the Arclight, looks like just some kind of future spaceship. Shadal Somata, Battle Wasp Nest, and then uh, Imperia. Let's see, let's, come on, I've, I've yet to pull a Black Luster Soldier. That one seems to be very sought after right now. We got Vision, alright, this Vision Hero does look pretty cool. It reminds me of Big Shield Gardener. Apparition. Sonic Stun. Luna Light Kaleido Chick. And then Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. With that card was featured in a deck tech I saw recently. I don't remember what the archetype was though. It had like four Kaijus though. All right, let's see. Artifact Scythe, Revival Swarm, Magical Stone, Miracle Stone, Guardian of the Order. Ooh, Prankatop. We are pulling a lot of Prankatops. Not going to complain about that. Card is so good, so I feel like even if the price isn't that high just because it's not that hard to pull it, I think it'll always be worth something. Water of Life. Oh, so this is our last pack. Can we clutch and get some last pack magic? We got a Gold Moon Coin. Vision release. Will we find the Black Luster Soldier right here? And, oh, it's blue. I don't remember what Black Luster Soldier's arrows are. Boom! Ah, high speed rate rubber band shooter. That would have been insane, though, if it was that. It. So, uh, as I expected, there was a good chance that the first half of the box got our two big hits. Uh, but let's just take a look. Prankatops is pretty good. Kaiju Slumber, Imperia. Sacrifice, Ferris, I think is not too bad either. Ray, nice, happy with that. Vision Hero Increase and Trap Trick, Sarah. I think both of these are pretty good. So we did get some pretty good hits, no home runs, but overall a really cool box. And uh, just a really fun video. I was so happy to get all these ultimates just to add to my collection. And, you know, none of these are... You know, there's no $100 cards or anything like that, but uh, just to kind of have um, some good foundation for my Yu-Gi-Oh! collection um, outside of, like the more recent sets. So that's it for today. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.